morning and welcome to Denver Parks and Recreation at Home. I'm Carrie with Outdoor Recreation. Hi, and I'm Deke with uh, Parks and Recreation Bike Park Division. We're here to talk about some bike safety and stuff you can do to prepare yourself for a ride. All right, so uh, my position with Denver is managing all the Denver bike parks and safe places to ride. So I want to tell you about a couple things that are open and active right now. Uh, Ruby Hill Park has a seven acre bike park, family friendly, so you could go out there, open to the public, um, seven days a week, weather permitting. Um, so that's a good place to go ride. I want to tell you about a couple good projects we have coming up. In Montbello, we're building a safe place to ride bicycle skills course. So by the end of July, that will be open to the public, so you can keep an eye out for that. Um, Garfield Park in Southwest Denver also has a safe place to ride. Very family friendly. Um, it's a single track trail that goes around the playground park and it has a couple skills features. I'm going to talk a little bit about how to prepare and what to bring on your bike ride. So before you go out, you want to make sure you have a nice meal um, so you have enough energy to get through the bike ride. Maybe bring along a snack. Bring plenty of water. It's really hot out here. When you're exerting yourself, you'll need plenty of water to stay hydrated. And then you can get a little bag for your bike and put a few things in there in case you find yourself needing to fix your bike and you're not located near one of these fix-it stations. Some things I bring along for fix-it, um, I have a little pump in here that works off of these CO2 cartridges. I have a spare tire tube. A little flat repair kit. A multi-tool to help out if you need to adjust something while you're out there and some tire levers to help you get the tire off the bike. All right, we are here at the corner of 32nd and Osceola at one of Denver's many fix-it stations where you can, on the fly, repair your bike, check your bike, um, and fix your bike. So these are located all over Denver. You can find information in our Denver bike map. You can get one of these maps at any of our Denver rec centers. And if you have any questions, you can always email bikes at denvergov.org. These poles up here, this is the bike stand. You can lift your bike up, Put your seat on it, hook your seat on it so it's airborne, ready to work on your bike. Connected to all these wires, you're gonna have a ton of different tools. On the fix-it station, you're gonna have a set of Allen wrenches. You're gonna have a flathead screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, two tire levers, some small wrenches for brake adjustments, and then here's for a pedal tool. I'm going to talk about a couple things you need to check on your bike to make sure your bike is safe and ready for your ride. It's really easy to remember. We call it the ABCs. First is air for A, brakes for B, and chain for C. So the first thing is air in your tires. You want to use your hands, push firmly on your tire. Make sure you have plenty of air in that tire. If you don't have enough air, you got to make sure to air that tire up. Next is your brakes. You need to check your brakes. Spinning your tire, grabbing your brake lever, grabbing both brakes, and then maybe rolling around with your body weight on your bike using your brakes to make sure they work properly before you go out and ride. The next is your chain. The way you check your chain, put it on a stand, put it up, pick it up, pedal it around, make sure it's smooth rolling and it's not going to make any weird noises or it's not going to be too loose. So your chain should have just a little bit of play in it and it should roll smoothly with your cranks. So anytime you head out on your bike, it's important that you find your helmet and adjust it properly to fit your head. Even if you think uh, it's not a big deal, you're just heading down the sidewalk or just on a quiet street, it is really important to wear a helmet. Accidents do happen and a helmet can save you from catastrophic injury. So all helmets adjust relatively the same. There's an internal adjustment that fits kind of the sides of your head and then there's the two side straps you can adjust so it properly fits under your chin. So figure out what uh, method it has to make it bigger or smaller. I usually start with it being a little bigger. Put it on my head. You want the helmet to be parallel to the ground. Um, a lot of folks wear it like this um, and then you're not protecting the front of your head which is really important. So make sure you get full protection in the front. Adjust the back. You may have to have a friend help you. And then the corners um, of the side straps go around each ear. So go ahead, clip it under your head and then pull this tight. You don't want it so tight that you're not going to be able to breathe. Um, usually if you open your mouth wide, it should pull down on the helmet a little bit. Hi, I'm Aspen with Denver Parks and Rec Adaptive Recreation. Today we're going to talk about some of the different varieties of adaptive bicycles to make sure that people um, in your family or with your friends of any ability who need any sort of assistance can get out and bike with everyone in the group. 
So these are some examples of the adaptive bike options that we use. We have an upright tandem, which is a two-wheel bike that's built for two riders. We also have a recumbent hand cycle. So this bike, you're actually sitting back with your legs forward and you're using your arms for momentum. So this is a great bike for people who aren't able to pedal with their feet. This middle bike, the blue one, is an upright tricycle. So this bike is great for balance. You'll also see there's a basket on the back. Sometimes these are called grocery getters. So you can ride them for trips around the neighborhood to pick things up or to carry them, carry things around to other locations. They're great for balance, but they're a little tricky on the corners. We'll talk about that later and also. This third bike here is a recumbent tricycle. So this bike is great for people who maybe aren't able to sit up all the way or that need a little help with core strength or if you have any back issues, it's an easier ride. And this bike also has the two wheels in the front, so you can see the widest part of the bike at all times. It also goes pretty quick and can go around corners a lot faster than the upright tricycle. So the first bike we're gonna talk about is the recumbent hand cycle. This is a great bike for people who aren't able to pedal with their feet. Um, so you'll see that there's a lot of built-in support on this bike. It has a solid frame on the seat that supports your back and the bottom, as well as a strap around the core. So that'll help make sure that you're in place throughout the ride. Another strap is located around the feet and that'll make sure that your legs are staying where they're supposed to. Uh, this is a crank that goes forward for momentum and backwards to brake. Another braking option is located under the seat and that's gonna be your parking brake as well. You cannot see the gear shift, which is on the other side underneath um, and that's a typical gear shift for a bike with first through seventh gears to help on heels. This is our upright hand cycle. You'll see that the crank is the same. So you push forward with your arms to get forward momentum and you pull back to brake. Again, this is a bike that people who aren't able to pedal with their feet are able to use. Um, you're using your arm strength and your core the whole time. You'll see that the brake on this is in the front center and the gear shift is also in the front center. The adjustments for this bike are a little easier. It's the foot adjustment that's a couple of quick screws and that moves up and down. And then to adjust the seat forward and backwards, it's just one pull lever. So this is an upright tricycle. This is a great bike for a little added stability um, and it's great for just cruising around town. First thing you want to do on these upright bikes is adjust your seat. So the best way to do that is to open up the crank and then lift the seat up to where it's hip level for you. Once it's hip level, you want to make sure that it's straight and then clamp it in tight. So to get on these upright bicycles, the safest way is to put one foot fully over, make sure you're standing securely, and then to use the pedal to push up onto the seat. And then get both feet on and make sure you're good to go. This bike, as mentioned earlier, is a great grocery getter. So you can carry things around town with you anywhere you go. Don't forget your water on your bike ride. This is our recumbent tricycle. You'll see that this is a great bike if you need a little extra back support, if you need balance or stability support, um, or if you just wanna go for a different kind of bike ride. The handlebars on this bike are not in front of you, but on the sides. You use them the same way to steer back and forth. The brakes are right in front of them, just like they are on a typical bike. The wheels on this, you see the two wheels are in the front instead of in the back. This is great because you can see the widest part of the bike at all times and know exactly where your wheels are gonna be. The adjustments on this are great for people who um, need to either extend or shorten the leg length. 
So that bar fully adjusts to get shorter or longer. Um, and it's the same as a typical bike in that you want to make sure that you have full extension and that your knee is almost straight when you're pedaling. So this bike we've put adaptive pedals on. These pedals support the back of your foot as well as having straps that support the top of your foot and over the ankle to make sure that your feet are in place and stay on the pedal the whole time. These can be switched out for typical pedals at any time with just a pedal wrench. So this bike to get on and off, you can stand directly in front of it with one foot on each side and sit straight back. Or if you're on the side of the bike, these handlebars are adjustable and go down. So you can sit down from the side of the bike and then swing your legs over the front if that's a more stable way. And then the handlebar comes back up and locks back into place. So this bike is great because you can actually fold it up and put it in your trunk. So you see the seat fully comes off and then the back wheel breaks down, folds in half, and you can slide it right in. This is another great tricycle option. This is a recumbent tandem. So this bike is good for two people at a time. And uh, the person that's on the back of this bike doesn't have to really do anything except pedal. So if there's someone who needs assistance with steering or braking or bike etiquette, this is a great way to learn those skills um, or just be supported. You'll see that the handlebars are on the sides again and the brakes are on them. The person in the back just has handles that they can hold on to if they want to. They can ride with their hands in their laps if that's more comfortable as well. You'll see the back pedals on this are fully adaptive pedals. So there are clamps at the bottom that will clamp to the bottom of your shoes to keep them in place, as well as a bar that holds on to the shin. So this bar helps to keep your legs in alignment. This is great for people who are trying to build up muscle strength um, or really worried about keeping their body straight when they're cycling. The best thing about this bike is that when one person pedals, both people pedal. So if there's someone who's a stronger cyclist than the other, then they can help the other person really build up some endurance and make sure that they're getting that full range of motion as their feet go around while they pedal. This is a great time to get out on your bike. Our diverse parks and trails system throughout the entire city offer endless miles for you and your family, people of all abilities, ages, um, to get out and explore safely. If you have any questions about adaptive bikes or biking opportunities, please feel free to reach out to our adaptive recreation department. You can email us at adaptive.recreation at denvergov.org. Thank you.